People are motivated by one of two whys. In other words, two motivations that exist behind every mindset and behind every behavior. It's either a motivation that says, what about me? In other words, it's a question. It's saying, do you know what? If this doesn't have something that is gonna make me look good or feel good, then I'm not interested. Or the second why is, or the second motivation is, whatever it takes. It's not a question, it's a statement. It's saying that I'm committed to a cause bigger than me and I will do whatever it takes to get it done regardless of what I look like in the process. If you wanna build something of significance today and if you want to be a person of significance, you have to have a whatever it takes why, a whatever it takes motivation. Those are the people that will be significant. Of course, the why of the kingdom is a whatever it takes attitude. It is a statement. The kingdom of God is trying to make a statement today through your life to the world around you. And it's a prominent statement that heaven is trying to impact earth, that Christ loves your world, the people that are in your world. And ultimately, your life is about backing that assignment. It's not about saying, God, will you bless what I am doing? It's about, God, what are you doing? And I want to back what you're doing and what you're blessing. So have a whatever it takes attitude today. You see, the Apostle Paul knew this when he wrote in Galatians 2.20 these words. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. You better believe that you are prominent today, not because you live, but because Christ lives in you. You can't afford, and I can't afford, to be a question that says, well, what about me? When am I going to have my opportunity and my break? I have died with Christ and I now am alive with him. Christ is living my life through me and I am giving him permission. I am dying to myself and I need today to realize that I am not to simply go unnoticed, but as I pursue his kingdom assignment to make him look good and him feel good through the opportunities that he has made available to me to love people, and to love the world, then God backs that and God ends up in his glory and his grace making us look far better than we could do on our own. And ultimately, it's about him coming and working through our lives and displaying his glory. So know today that you're prominent. Today and every day, you're a champion and there's more inside of you than you think. Oh,